Welcome to the hottest movie review on the internet today, the A-List Review. I am your host, the Game Changer, Wes Troop, and today I am here to review the latest family film that soared in the theaters this weekend. It is the latest of the Disney remakes. Ladies and gentlemen, my review of Pete's Dragon, coming up now. After a tragedy, a young boy named Pete finds himself alone in the woods far from civilization. When he faces danger, an unexpected creature comes out of the woods and saves the boy. To his surprise, the creature, of course, is a dragon, which Pete names Elliot. After living together in the woods for six years, a young girl stumbles upon Pete. The boy is brought out of the forest and returns to normal civilization and stays with a family, but wants to go back to his old home with his friend Elliot. Soon Elliot reveals himself to construction workers in the woods and may find himself in some real danger. So what did I think of Pete's Dragon? I thought it's a fantastic family film. It's the latest in the string of recent Disney remakes, and when I heard it was coming, I wasn't exactly jumping up and down. Luckily, I can say this is one of their best remakes so far. The film takes the premise of the original movie and gives it a more modern and relatable twist, which I felt was a good idea. Instead of being hand-drawn, Elliot the Dragon is now upgraded to a CGI creature, and I thought he looked great. The original looked fine for what it was, but I had an easier time believing in the dragon with this version. This Elliot really reminded me of a huge puppy dog, whether he was getting into trouble knocking down trees or just peeking out behind a tree, every moment he was on screen was entertaining. There's also a number of spectacular flying scenes. The story sometimes reminded me of other classics like E.T. and the Iron Giant with the misunderstood creature of a boy being in danger, but it still works fine here. There are a number of exciting scenes throughout, whether it be Pete and Elliot frolicking through the woods, the boy running around town trying to escape back to his home, and a scene on a bridge featuring Elliot and the townspeople. The relationship between Pete and Elliot is very moving and resulted in an incredibly emotional ending. I'll admit to being a hot mess, and I had to hide my eyes when the lights came back up in the theater. Pete also has some nice bonding moments with the family that let him stay until they can find out where he came from. The cast stars Bryce Dallas Howard as Grace, a park ranger who's heard rumors of a dragon in the woods but won't believe it until she sees it, but after hearing Pete's story starts to think it's a possibility. Robert Redford as Meacham, Grace's father who's the only person to have seen the dragon many years before in the woods and believes he's real. Oak Fegley is Pete, the young boy who is protected by his majestic friend and doesn't want to go back to a normal life. Wes Bentley as Jack, Grace's boyfriend who's a construction worker. Una Lawrence as Natalie, Jack's daughter who befriends Pete. And Carl Urban as Gavin, Jack's brother who thinks Elliot is dangerous. Pete's Dragon will be a crowd pleaser for audience members of all ages. I'm going to give it the rating of... A-list approved. That's right, it gets the A-list. Seal of approval. All right, well, that's the show. I'll be back with another review tomorrow. But until then, don't forget to subscribe right here on YouTube. YouTube.com slash Westside of 515. You can like the show on Facebook, Facebook.com slash West True Bay List. And of course, you can follow me on the Twitter and the Instagram at West A-List. Until next time, truth. Out.